Hey, it's Jessica DeMassa with WTF Health. I'm here in Sofia, Bulgaria at Webit. And joining me right now, I have Roberto Asione. He is the CEO of Healthware Group. So Roberto, always good to talk to you. Hi, hi Jessica, nice to meet you again. Nice to see you. So Healthware closes a 10 million euro round recently. What is this funding for? You guys are a huge company. What is going on over there? Yeah, we have been basically raising this, uh, it's in excess of 10 mil, uh -huh. uh, and it's been uh, supported by the uh, Italian uh, Fec Growth Fund, which is okay. a late stage VC fund, mm -hmm. and existing uh, shareholders. And that's basically aiming at uh, uh, our division that works uh, with early stage startups. Okay. And what we have been doing in the context of that, we have been acquiring a portfolio company that has invested in a bunch of the early stage startups, which was very in, uh, in line with our investment thesis. And th so those money are going into that uh, unit, uh, which now we are calling Health or Ventures. Okay. And we are doing, uh, we will do more and more to socialize this uh, in the coming months. And so basically it's dedicated to that unit in order to scale uh, that part of our business. Okay, so basically you guys got VC funding to become more of a VC yourself. Well, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's just amplifying mm -hmm. our, uh, yeah, what we're already doing. Uh, and that technically is an operational venture uh, capital uh, kind of activity yeah. or corporate venturing is also called. Um, so we are expanding our uh, existing uh, product factory, expanding all those uh, uh, capabilities that are helping companies to uh, business model faster or to go to market more efficiently. Um, so this has been piloted, as you might remember, over the last couple of years, has been quite successful. And so given we've been running our math, we decided to scale up this, uh, this operation and we wanted to do this in a more open way yeah. uh, with external partners, which we are very happy with. Yeah, so exciting. And I, I want you to, for a second, I think, step back and talk a little bit more about Healthware Group and, and all the other things that you guys are doing. Because I think, I mean, I know what you guys have going on because I've been to the Palazzo and it's amazing. But and I think you get a sense of how big your organization is, how many people are working there. You have like over 100 employees. I mean, and they're, they're spread around. But I mean, you get a sense of how big you are and what you're doing. But I think most people that maybe encounter you know you from Frontiers Health. So tell me real quick, just summarize for everybody the healthware piece of this and what you guys actually do. Yeah, no, that, that's great. I mean, Healthware has 20 years, uh, more than 20 years, as you know, and has been basically starting with the, the idea of applying uh, digital technologies to healthcare issues, right? And so we have uh, the core business and the most established practice is a strategic consultancy in the go-to-market and marketing space. Mm -hmm. So we work for large-scale life sciences companies and more recently health insurers, helping them to launch uh, either drugs or medical devices or new insurance products, and more recently, we are also doing this for digital startups. And you're, you're global. You're not just in Italy, you're not just in Europe. No, we are fortunate enough to have a European <laughs> HQ in Italy, in a beautiful place oh, that yeah. you visited. Uh, no, we are, we are global. Uh, we have a strong presence in Europe, London, uh, Dusseldorf, uh, Milan, and Salerno by the Amalfi Coast. And then we have a joint venture partner in touch solutions in the States, which cover uh, that side of the road. So okay. together, uh, we are in excess of a thousand people uh, and with core in a full service agency mm -hmm. uh, business. Uh, and then we run this innovation network uh, and the corporate venture practice. And talking about the innovation network, that's my you know, effort ready to Frontiers. Frontiers Health, uh, as you know, is a, a conference now in the year five uh, happen, happening in Berlin uh, for 500 people uh, global. Uh, focusing on digital health. Healthware is traditional co-host of the conference yeah. and is sponsoring the conference alongside friends from life sciences and yeah. uh, other industries. And I'm doing just the chairman of the steering committee, uh, <laughs> which was born as a, a few days uh, pro bono hobby and then turned to be like a significant uh, uh, time, which I love. And, and it's just a way to really give a little contribution to the growth and the scale of the global ecosystem of digital health. No, and it's funny because I run into people and they're like, oh yeah, Roberto from Frontiers, he's new. I'm like, no, he's been around for like, I think 20 years. Like it's, it's been a while and that is not his only business in this space. All right, so I guess what's on tap for the future then? So I mean, for you, you know, as you're growing this, 
the, the venture side of this in particular, let's talk about that and then the startups that you guys are, are helping kind of cultivate and bring along there. What are you looking for? Are you looking for things that are complementary to your life sciences business? Are you looking for things that are more med tech? I mean, what kinds of, what kinds of healthcare startups are, or ventures are you looking to get into? Yeah, we are working on three areas. One is digital therapeutics, given it's uh, one of the areas where we see a lot of synergies with our kind of core business clients. Yeah. And so we have an entire practice in that, which is also what I talked to you at Webit. And, and we work on digital health platforms because we have the concept that, especially with chronic diseases and to orchestrate patient journeys, a platform will be, you know, totally uh, key. And the third area we look at are everything that is specific to the go-to-market for life sciences industry. Okay. So in terms of, I would say, uh, market automation, marketing automation, but kind of geared towards healthcare, which is highly regulated, as we all know, and requires very special solutions. So the three things we look at are digital therapeutics companies, digital health platforms, and marketing automation for pharma okay. solutions. Is there any particular area in digital therapeutics that you're hot on right now, or that you think is something that you're of interest? No, we have uh, 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 three programs up and running, uh, which unfortunately we can't say more, but we'll come to Ooh, more, secrets. You know, we'll come to more public fruition in the late fall. Okay. Uh, but we are very happy working in CNS and cardiovascular okay. uh, or cardiometabolic. Uh, which are typical area for DTX. No, we are looking at all the DTX space, uh, and we are very curious to find out which new mode of actions, whether it's VR, whether it's behavioral modification, whether our other kind of you know mode of actions could be applied to new areas. So that's really key focus of, of our research. Do you have any insider information on the DTX space, given the fact that you're looking at it, and also you work with these life sciences companies? Like, is this? Do you think this is the future for pharma? I'm also one of the founding advisors at the Digital Therapeutics Alliance. Of course you are. <laughs> and uh, no, to say that we are very into that and try to help as much as we can. Yes, I think it will be very big for life sciences companies. I think it's a super tangible way to add what software as a service can bring in yeah. terms of access, efficiency, uh, low cost to the therapeutic space. And on, at the same time, for life sciences companies, one of the areas which makes more sense, because by analogy, it's much closer to a drug, right? right. The way you research, the way you go to market, the way you validate, um, the way you talk to physicians than others. So I really think there is a great, um, you know, there's a great opportunity there also to work be, the, for, to foster the collaboration between large scale companies and startups. Awesome. Well, Robert, Roberto, thank you so much for joining us. It's always a pleasure to talk to you and hear what you're up to. And this time to get the the healthware side of the story. Usually we talk at Frontiers. So um, I will see you soon. And thank you so much for your time here today. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks. I'm Jessica DeMasa with WTF Health here at Webit in Sofia, Bulgaria. Thanks for joining us.